as a special guest here. Right, so Daniel Daniel Helper we're about to see here making this pick for the Denver Broncos. Make a wish right here. Daniel Helper was with him at dinner last night. Battled leukemia. Great story. For 25 years, the NFL and Make-A-Wish Foundation have granted hundreds of wishes to children with challenging medical conditions. We are proud to welcome tonight 16-year-old cancer survivor, Daniel Halpern from Denver. Take your bow, buddy. This may surprise you, but Daniel's a big Broncos fan, and his wish is to announce the Broncos' first round pick. So this is your moment, Daniel. Go for it. Thank you, thank you. With the 26th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Paxton Lynch, quarterback, Memphis. been drafted. His dream has come true. He's in tears. Young man who had a breakout season in Memphis. He just got a call from John Elway for crying out loud. Welcoming him to the National Football League. And he is going to join the defending yes! Super Bowl champions. And it will be in his hands for years to come in the Rocky Mountains. Mark Sanchez there. Maybe as you point out, it'll be Sanchez's team to run this year. Perhaps Lynch will get a shot. But he's a Denver Bronco. Yeah, I, I'd like to reinforce that I spent a full day with this kid before three months ago and then again in his pro day. He's one of the nicest young men I've ever met in my life. You can see the, the tears coming out. He knows he's got some work to do. So let's talk about the positives and then the work. Okay, look, look, at, look at this. Isn't that awesome? So on the positive side is elite arm talent and athletic ability. What does he have to work on? Coach Shaw, he's never been in a huddle. He doesn't call pass protections. He doesn't control the game at the line of scrimmage. He's never been under center. He's never had a five-step drop, let alone a seven-step drop. So when I say he's a year away, I love the kid, and I believe in him, but he's got a lot of work ahead of him. There's no question about it. This, this is like a big wild horse. And once you get him trained, this guy could be phenomenal in this, you know, the offense John Elway played in. They made this, they made this offense work with a bunch of different guys that are athletic guys. Jake the, Jake the Snake Plumber ran off this like this. Long stretch, play action pass, getting outside, throwing the ball deep down the field. These play action passes, this kid could be special in, in a year or two. It's a similar situation, I think, as... Carson Wentz has over there in Philly. They're going to have to sit behind a veteran guy who may not be the long-term guy, but they're the guy that's going to teach him how to play football our way. And then when he's ready, this guy's got the luxury though of playing with the number one defense. defense in the exactly league. right. That's an advantage. Well, what this means as well is that in San Francisco, the Blaine Gabbert, Colin Kaepernick quarterback competition is now on because that dormant trade has now got to be finished, done, done. Because you get Paxton Lynch, you just traded up to get him. There's no reason to acquire Colin Kaepernick. So it looks like Kaepernick is going to be a 49er, unless there's another team that wants to make a trade New with York Trent Fossey. Here's today's great moment presented by Michelin moments ago was when Paxton Lynch found out from John Elway, with Lee Steinberg there next to that he's a Denver Bronco down in tears. The Packers pick when we come back here in Chicago. That should be a fun, juicy moment.